states, including Vermont, allowed Immigration and Customs Enforcement access with facial recognition to the state's driver license database. Vermont has allowed undocumented immigrants to have state photo ID and driver's licenses since 2014. The report says data from immigrant IDs, along with the IDs of legal residents and citizens, was known to be shared with ICE voluntarily from 2014 through 2017. That's when the governor and the attorney general announced they would no longer utilize facial recognition technology. In a statement to NBC5, Governor Phil Scott's office said, quote, federal agencies do not have access to the Vermont DMV photo database. This information should not be shared with ICE or any other law enforcement agencies. The Vermont statute is clear. However, the Washington Post report alleges ICE directly scanned state's driver's license databases, looking through millions of photos of both American citizens and undocumented immigrants. And we have many Mexicans living in this state. They're Vermonters. We need to defend them. We need to support them. And we need to treat them as we would treat anybody else. And for me, that means defending everybody's constitutional rights. A spokesman for ICE would not comment on whether the agency has accessed Vermont's photo ID database, stating they do not confirm or deny investigative techniques. Two years ago, I stated unequivocally that sharing facial recognition information with ICE or other law enforcement agencies was a violation of Vermont state law. While it remains unclear whether any deportations occurred due to the data acquired between 2014 and 2017, the ACLU believes any information sharing should be stopped. We don't know the outcomes of the use of facial recognition software uh, as it pertains to ICE, but we do know that these programs have a serious potential for abuse and that they're just plain inaccurate. And just to underscore that it remains unclear whether or not any deportations actually took place due to data acquired from the state of Vermont between 2014 and 2017, now, the ACLU and the Attorney General, T.J. Donovan, continue to have serious concerns sharing data, any data, that is, with the federal government. For now, we're live in the Upper Valley Newsroom. Nathaniel Reed, NBC5 News.